What's going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Coach of Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're gonna talk about white gold and white rhodium, mainly the rhodium. Now, with rhodium, 99.9%, okay, that might be a little too high, but most jewelry, especially here in America in the States, if it's white gold, it has the rhodium finish. Why? because it shines it up and makes it nice and shiny and protects it. It's like the shiny car in the showroom will sell. Manufacturers that manufacture chain, the shiny, the more yellow it is, the higher percentage it's gonna jump out in that showcase and sell. So that is the trick. Now the rhodium, what is rhodium? It's not a bad thing, it's actually a really expensive alloy. It's in the same family as platinum and it's used again to make a piece nice and shiny and it also is hard and protects those pieces resistance from scratches so it's a very good thing and i want to show you guys a few pieces for example so you can look at it and i'll showcase my five and a half flat curve just to kind of see the wear and tear of a white gold rhodium piece over years because i also get questions about that with that being said Let's get started. Here are a few white gold pieces that I have laid out. First one being a finished Jacoji Jesus piece and it has diamonds in the crown um, because I deserve it. And that it has the rhodium finish. You can see how nice and shiny it is. Here's another, this is a custom shield medallion that I made for my client Bart. We worked together on this masterpiece. Now the interesting thing with this one is it's two separate, it has a yellow gold plate on top soldered onto a white gold plate so it's not like we did a rhodium finish on um, all yellow gold it actually is casted white gold you could see there in the back solid and then for the top of the yellow gold we just lasered his crest design and then you could see like the two-tone different laser colors there it's really cool let me get closer there um, and this small of a piece about I'd say um, half dollar size is 14 grams so it is made with integrity it is made well it's a Jacoji piece so you guys know and just look how completely clean that is really awesome job thanks Bart for letting me borrow this an extra day to put it on this video and then here is a, a raw casting of a 14k white gold uh, diamond flat ring this is for Michael he ordered it on the Black Friday sale so if you notice here, it has a like a gunmetal color to it. That is the natural color of 14K white gold before the rhodium polish and the rhodium plating, I should say, and then the polish, so it really shines it up. So here you have more of a natural organic color. And then here's my five and a half flat curve, and I wanted to include this because people ask me all the time, what's gonna happen to my white gold over time? This is eight years old. I wear it 24 seven, 365 days out of the year and as you could see it's still holding up nice if you look in between these links um, there's a slight yellow where that where that uh, yellow gold is showing through the rhodium wears off and these are white gold casted pieces but over time with that friction that yellow gold might show through especially the high friction with like the link chains they rub together so uh, all you really need is just a rhodium plating but again, eight years and I'm still not even thinking about rhodium this chain because it looks good. If I put my Jesus piece next to it, it looks the same. So that is the benefit of the rhodium plating is it's almost like an armor over your white gold. It keeps it shiny, it resists the scratches. It's, it's a very good thing to have. As you can see, the proof is actually in the pudding here because it's all nice stuff. So there you guys have it. We looked at the, the raw cast of 14K white gold. We looked at uh, rhodium finished pieces as well as my flat curve. So you can kind of see the differences. Um, you know, if you didn't really know better, you might be weary of buying a white gold piece with rhodium because you would think, well, you know, six months down the road, I'm just gonna have like a terrible looking chain with a yellow gold showing underneath. That's not the case, at least from my experience when I look at rhodium pieces, they hold up for a while. Just, just that's why I wanna show the five and a half flat curve that I have because I don't wanna just tell you guys, I wanna show you and the best is from experience and that chain is old and it's been through everything and it still looks really good. The rhodium's on there, it shines. It's very nice, so it, it, that's a good option, a good route to have. It's not a bad thing to have rhodium. Like I said, it's really expensive, and it's very useful as well when it comes to white gold jewelry. They use it for silver, if it, for higher-end silver pieces. 
you'll use rhodium so it's everywhere do some more research if you have more questions but again it's a safe thing to have and it really does make a difference on a piece of white gold jewelry that's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video